So we will start with chapter four. Charges. Have both of you both assignment or your duplicate of both of you? Because Darshan, have you got assignment? You have to upload it. Uh, you have to you have to download it from the portal. It is uploaded in the portal. So in this chapter, we know that uh, first we will discuss codes on the literature. Like we know that uh, oh, there is a charge. Suppose we have a charge Q, and if we is moving with velocity B, and suppose there is a magnetic field in this direction. And it makes an indicator with the magnetic field. So the force on the charge, we all know that F is equal to Q into V cross. This is the basic formula for force on a moving charge in magnetic. We also know that. The magnitude of force can be written as F is equal to Q V B sin Q. Right? So if what happens if a good magnetic field is zero and force will be zero, if velocity is zero, then force will be zero. So magnetic field cannot be exerted into the stationary charge. <coughs> if charge is zero, if any one of Q, V, or B is zero, force will be so. If we talk about direction, direction of force. It is given by the RG, right hand. For example, <coughs> suppose we have x, y, and z coordinates like this. And suppose velocity is along this direction and magnetic field is along this direction. Then force. Will be along this direction F, which is V cross B. This will be along Z direction. Understood? So we are taking right hand rule V cross B. We are moving from B to B. We are moving from B to B and from here to here. What is that? If you place you on like this and you finger like this, right? And it is your thumb is like this. So if you curl your finger from B to B, if you are curling your finger from B to B, then force will be along the thumb. Got my point? Both of you understand this? How we calculate direction of loaded spools. <clears throat> uh, 
on that. So, based on this, we will do some questions. And here, you know, she died that we will do many things. We will do some questions. So, we can like find concepts. Then, we will do further. So, we just see one question. Based on that, solve this question of the year 2006. Solve this question. So you want B. Let us see. See that for the question. When a sharp particle moving velocity B is subjected to a magnetic field of induction of B, the force on it is non-zero. So according to the question. Velocity is given as V and magnetic field is V. And force is non zero. So uh, we have to check what could be the we have to check what could be the option. Person, please check the net connection and you can rejoin. Maybe you should for both side. <clears throat> Can you hear now? Or are you going to something?
Yes, sir. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? I think issue is from your side. Darshan, you check your net connection. Might or you can read your. So here, what will happen is oh, my volume is low. If she can hear, why don't you can hear? If she is from my side, it should be from both. Right. So here, if you see, according to the question, force is zero. Then here you see, see the option A. What is this? Angle between is either zero or one degree. So if we check, if theta is zero degree or theta is equal to 180 degree, then in that case, what will be force? You know the value of force is <coughs> from here we can see the value of force was Q will be sine theta, right? So if theta is zero degree, then force will be Q V B sine zero degree. Then force will also be if angle is 180 degree, then force will be Q V B sine one eighty degree. In that case also, force will be zero, right? So in both case cases, theta is either one eighty degree or zero degree. Force will be zero. So A cannot be there. Now moving to option B. It says angle between is necessary 90 degree. So it is also not correct. We don't require angle necessarily 90 degree. If theta is also like 60 degree or theta is like 30 degree, then in that case also, this will not be possible. So option B is also not correct. Okay. Now see option C. What option C says angle between can have any value other than 90 degree. So it's not correct. If angle is like zero degree, then force will be zero. Right? So it is also not correct. So automatically the correct option will be C. But we have to check D also. Yes, is angle between can have any value other than zero and one. It is correct, most correct option is D. If angle is not zero, not one, then sine theta will not be zero in any value between zero to one. Right? If this is excluded, if this is excluded. Then sine theta not equal to zero. It means force will not be equal to zero. Understood, both of you? Any doubt, please ask. All right. Going to the next question. Darshan, have you understood this? So,
Arshan, have you got it? Why don't you do regular classes? I have seen you after a long time in last class. Have you been present in the last class? I think you have only done two or three classes. So be regular. It will be otherwise you will get the things so you will not get the things. So regularity or punctuality is very important. Moving to the next question. Now see question number five. This is very important question. See question number five. Tell me this question number five. Question. Please don't take notes of the unique cross key. So, do this question on the file with this unique 2009 question. So both of you trying this question. All right. So the question says. The magnitude of force, we have to find the magnitude of force acting on a charge particle of this charge in a magnetic field of two Tesla acting in y direction. So, according to the question, the magnetic field is basically 2Tj. It is acting in a y direction, so we have to take unit vector j. And velocity, this velocity is given as. 2i plus 3j into 10 to the power 6 to meter per So we have to find the force. So it's very easy. What we have to do is we have to apply the same formula. Force is q into v cross v, and we have to put the values. What is the charge? Minus 2. Microcoulomb, it means minus 2 into 10 to minus 6. And what is V cross B? So, Q 
here we have to put the value 2 i plus 3 j into 10 to the plus 6 cross product of cross product with b b is 2 j so 10 power minus 10 power minus 6 plus 6 will be cancelled out so it will be 2 i plus 3 j into cross and 2 will be taken this side 2 into 2 like that it will be j right so now minus 4 and we have to multiply this by this so i cross j is k so it will be no i j k so i cross j is k so minus 4 to j and j cross j will be equal to j so it is j so we will get it minus 8 k it means it is in negative z direction negative z direction right so magnitude is 8 and direction is negative z so it should be this getting my point answer should be d understood this Prefer Darshan? All right. So, very easy. This is the main 2000. Main uh, <coughs> question. And very easy. We have to apply from the all. We can get the answer. Okay. okay, so going to the next concept and we will do the questions again. So we will do the next concept. Now we will see the motion of the charge particle in metal. motion of the charge particle to magnetic field. So we have seen that the uh, force acting on the charge particle moving in a magnetic field is given by F is equal to Q into V cross. This we have already known. And we also know the direction force. Now suppose in a region, suppose we have a constant magnetic field like this cross indicates inward magnetic field that we all know so suppose a charged particle enters in the region with a velocity v so and suppose the magnetic field is v so What will be the direction of force? Can anyone guess what will be the direction of the force acting on the positive charge Q? Anyone? Any guesses? What will be the direction of force acting on the charge particle Q?
How will you calculate the direction of force? You will apply P cross P, right? So if you see here, suppose we are taking V is along X direction. Suppose this direction is X and velocity is along X direction. And magnetic field is given inward, right? So magnetic field is suppose along Y direction. So we have to find the direction of V cross B, right? So what will be the direction of V cross B? It should be along Z direction. This is the direction of V cross B. The student of uh, so here see magnetic field is going inside the plane of the board, and it is like this. If you see here. V is along this, a magnetic field is basically going inside into the port of the plane, right? So force will be in upward direction. So what should be the direction of force here? In the upward direction. Let's note it or not. Okay. So, force is acting in an upward direction. So, here the force on the charged particle will always be like this. If it moves like this, then force will be along this direction. If the particle moves like this, the force will be along this direction. So, here what will happen is the motion of charged particles will be circular. The force is always towards the center of a common point. So, in such cases, when there is a uniform magnetic field and the charged particle enters perpendicular to the magnetic field, then in such cases, the uh, such cases there is always a circular motion and the path of the charged particle will be circular. Right? The motion of the charge particle will be separate. Understood this? Since force is always perpendicular to the velocity. So if the particle will move like this, then it will move like, like this. If the particle is move, moving like this, then force will act like this. If the particle is moving like this, then force will act like this. If the particle is here, force is here. The force is always towards a common center. That's why the trajectory or the path of the charged particle will be circular. Understood it? All right. So we know that there are certain parameters associated with this circle. That is radius of the particle. What is the energy of the particles? What is the time period of the circular motion? So that all things we are going to calculate. Are you getting darshan? If you have any doubt, please ask in between. Don't hesitate. If you have any doubt, please. So now we will calculate different parameters associated. What? Do you want me to repeat today? Where have you not been in the school before? Point it out so that I can explain it. Have you understood this one? This I have explained. All the concept, all the story is based on this. Can you get this one? How you understood this graph? Can you able to understand this? Then you can understand the circular motion. Have you understood this one?
let me repeat it this for you. So don't use this file. So let me remove this file. Let us see. <coughs> Here, you know, uh, suppose I have here the velocities are written like this. So I have assumed the velocity. Suppose I am taking the velocity along x direction. And here magnetic field is given in the cross. Cross means it is going into the groove. So I assume the direction of magnetic field like this. This is arbitrary. I have assumed it like this. Now what will happen? The forces we have seen that the value of magnetic force acting on a charged particle is given by F. F is given by F is equal to Q into V cross B. Right. So here we have to find the direction of cross product. So we know that to find the cross product. We have to, by the right hand ground rule, when we are finding cross product of vector A and B, then we have to move from first vector to second vector. So, to find the cross product of V cross B, you have to move from B to B. So, the direction of V cross B is perpendicular to both B and B. So from this diagram, if the force is along this direction, it will be perpendicular to both V and B. So I am relating this concept to this concept. Here the situation is same. V is along X direction and magnetic field is inwards. We have assumed it in Y direction. Then force must be along z direction which means in upward direction that is why the force is in upward direction got it and if the force is in upward direction then its motion must be circular right here like here the situation is like this the charge particle is moving like this and force is acting along this patch. And obviously, its motion will be like this. It will be curved. So, force is acting along the center. If charge particle comes here, then its velocity is along this, then again, force acts like this. That is why its motion will be circular. In a circular motion, we know that every time force is always towards the center. First time velocity was along this, force was acting like this, when velocity is like this, force is acting like this, when velocity becomes this, force is acting like this, when velocity is like this, force is acting like this, when velocity is like this. So force is always towards a common point. That is why in such cases the charge particle moves along a circular. What is Darshan? Right. So this is how we should calculate the direction of force and the magnitude. Now we were talking, talking about the different parameters associated with the circular motion. Right. So first we will calculate. So suppose the, the charge particle is moving in circular radius r, like radius of the charge particle, radius of the circular path is r. So first we will calculate radius. So how we, we know that what is the radius formula for radius in a circular path? We have already you know, you may have found in your basic class of class 12 that the formula for radius is R is equal to MB by 2, right? No need to derive, and I am not going to derive the things. 
we want to derive this formula r is equal to three by two b again go to your uh, basic class level how you want to do this form time period of motion p is equal to two pi m about two both of you know this right both of you have read this formula or should i derive this formula I will give you a little idea how we calculate the, you know, the radius and all these things. What we are doing is here the force is like Q V B. I will give you in brief how to we have calculated this formula. Like force is given by here angle is 90 degree, right? Here velocity, here velocity, here velocity is along this direction, so here theta is 90 degree. So what we do, we put F is equal to QVB and that becomes equal to MB squared by R. So from here, we get R is equal to MB upon Q. And time period is given by T is equal to 2 pi by omega. And 2 pi by, what is omega? Omega is B by R. So from here, we will get time period as 2 pi M by Right. So this is a formula we have to remember. It must be in our head. We should always remember this formula. These formulas will be directly used. So this is a formula for time period. Then we can calculate frequency. And you always know that in such cases, in such cases, when there is a circular motion, speed of the particle always remains constant. So force is always acting perpendicular, so it cannot change the speed. So speed giving speed of the charged particle giving the circular motion always remains constant. But velocity is not constant. You always remember this here velocity is not constant since the direction is changing. What is changing? Direction is changing. So velocity is not constant. If someone asks you during the motion of the charged particle in uniform magnetic field, is uh, your option you like to speed remain constant, velocity remain constant. So velocity uh, does not remain constant, but speed remains constant. So if speed remains constant, then kinetic energy also remains. Understood this one, this concept. So these are two or three formulas which uh, we will use directly. So let us do some questions based on motion of the child particle in form magnetic field so that we can plot it. So let us do the question number 17. Very easy. Question number 17. So both of you go through this question number 17. This question. This is a neat 2003 question.
so and the fact is the speed of the current what is your answer darshan yes the correct answer should be should be a as it saying speed is always as explained in the previous slide speed is always constant but the velocity is not constant right so obviously velocity is if we know direction is changing so this cannot be correct acceleration is also changing you know as what is the acceleration if a chart if a particle is moving along the The circular path acceleration is always towards center. The direction of acceleration is also changing. Therefore, acceleration is not constant. So, C also not correct. Velocity is also changing. So, correct answer is A. Both of you understood this, Darshan. Moving to another question. Now solve question number ten. Do the question number ten. The first is taking the answer as B. You see, the charge moving with velocity v in x direction is subjected to a field of magnetic induction in negative direction. So, according to the question, the charge particle is moving along x direction with velocity v. And magnetic field is negative x direction, right? So obviously theta is one eighty degree. So what will be the force? Force will be zero. The force is zero. So as a result, the charge will remain unaffected. Start moving in circular path. No retard. No. No. Charge will remain to move as it is. There will not be any effect of the medium. Understood it?
You know, sometimes what happens if we apply electric field also, sometimes we also apply electric field. So in that case, we have to consider both electric forces of both electric field and magnetic field. Suppose yeah, in some cases if electric field is connected, so in that case net force will be F into P V. We have to add electric field force plus magnetic field. Right. This is the net which we have to add both the forces if electric field is also present. So now based on that, let us see question number 26. Solve question number 26. Need two thousand seven question. Oh, this question. So the question says a beam of electron passes and deflected through mutually perpendicular electric and magnetic field. If the electric field is switched off and the same magnetic field 
is maintained in a calm mode. So, first says that in the question it is first said that passes and deflect. How this is possible? And deflected means force of electric field and magnetic field. Suppose like charges something like this. Velocity is V and magnetic field is allowed in one direction. Then force in the charge particle magnetic forces in a poor direction. And suppose we have arrangements so that electric field is in downward direction. So in that this electric field will be in downward direction. And there is a case when F E is equal to F B, then in that case electrons will pass and now what happens if the electric field is switched off. If electric field is switched off, then we only have magnetic field. So there will be some, you know, velocity, or maybe there because since the electrons will pass it, so obviously they will move in the circular path. So the same is if electric field is switched off. So this will be unbalanced and going to magnetic force to that. Yes, we take that. Got it? All right. So now going to the next question. So on this question number 25, on this question number 25.
Have you got any answer? Okay. You can see. It says a particle having mass 10 to minus 2 kg and carrying the charge of this. The particle is given an initial horizontal velocity of this in the presence of electric field C and magnetic field C. To keep the particle moving in a horizontal direction, it is necessary that it should be contained with the electric velocity, it should be right. So let us see. So initially the charge is given the particle. Question. The particle given initial horizontal. Suppose this velocity is given. To keep the particle moving in horizontal direction, it means we have to arrange electric field and magnetic field such that total force on it should be zero, right? So that it can move. So that to keep the particle moving in a horizontal direction, right? The force should be zero such that its velocity will not be affected and it will keep moving. So we have to arrange such that electric field and force of magnetic field must be in opposite direction right so suppose we put magnetic field along inward direction cross then obviously the force due to magnetic field will be along upward direction suppose we have an arrangement such that magnetic field is in inward direction, velocity in horizontal direction. So, obviously, the magnetic force on the charge particle will be like this. And suppose we put electric field along the downward direction, then obviously, electric field will be along this direction. And both of the forces, we have a magnitude. Suppose we have a magnitude such that F E equal to F B, the total force, net force on the charge particle will be zero and it will continue to move in the horizontal direction. Understood it? We can have an arrangement like this. So it means to have such an arrangement. Velocity must be perpendicular to the magnetic field. And electric field also must be perpendicular to the magnetic field. Getting my point or not? Here you can see. So now see the options. If you see option A, it says V should be perpendicular to the direction of velocity, correct? And E should be along the direction of velocity. No, E should be perpendicular to the direction of velocity. Here you can see E should be here. E is perpendicular to B and V is perpendicular. So here you can see that electric field is also perpendicular to the velocity, right? Now see option B. It says both B and E 
should be along the direction of the last statement. C option both B and E. Mutually perpendicular. Both B and E mutual and perpendicular to the direction. This seems to be correct. Option C seems to be correct. B and E mutually perpendicular. If you see this case, magnetic field is like inward and electric field is like this. Both are mutually perpendicular. And B is also. Like this. So all are mutually perpendicular, right? So some seems to be correct. If you see option four, B should be along the direction of the loop. So the correct option is both should be, all three should be mutually perpendicular. In that case, the total force will be zero and the charge will move and the Got it? In it out, please us. Okay. So this is how we should interpret for such questions. Now, so generally such kind of questions are asked to me. Not very difficult. So, and you have to be very careful while finding cross products. Sometimes you may have velocity, x, y, and z component. And magnetic field will also have x, y, and z component. To find cross product in that case, you have to apply determinant method, right? So for complex. Uh, I will give you more such questions in assignment based on this concept. Now moving to the next concept. That is, here we have already assumed that the kinetic energy remains constant or the, or the you know, magnetic field remains constant or magnetic field is given. So in such concept, when we are dealing with Motion of a charge particle in magnetic field, we have already assumed that magnetic field exists in it. Now we are going to study the cause of magnetic field. What is the cause of it? In the case of motion of a charge particle, we have already assumed that magnetic field is present. Now we will study how magnetic field can be produced and this will lead to biosavart. We will study biosavart which we know the cause of no, because of current magnetic field can be produced and we will some application based on biosavart then we will MPS. So these two concepts will be uh, we are going to study in the cause of production. So first let us see bias or which we already know up to some extent bias or What it says, it says that if we have a random like we have current carrying conductor and there is a point P situated at an end of theta and its position vector is R so with respect to this you know, we have suppose we have a current element and current is and we have a current element having length P A. So due to this element the magnetic field at point P is given by mu naught by 4 pi I B cross R by R. 
Bizi de parmağa Magnetic field due to current element. What it gives? Magnetic field due to current element. Here, left of the end is here. And the position vector of the form. And what will be the direction? We can find the direction of magnetic field again using right hand rule and direction of cross cross product. So, can you guess what will be the direction of magnetic field at point P? Can you guess? So, can you tell me the direction? What will be the direction of the magnetic field at point P due to this current carrying magnet? What will be the direction of magnetic field at point? You have to say me what will be the direction of magnetic field at point P. You know, using pulse of water, no? you have to tell me the direction of magnetic field at point P due to this current element of length T. So I'm asking what is the direction of magnetic field at point P from pulse of water.
Are you finding it out? You know, you have to play right hand game. You have to play right hand game. D is in the wrong this direction. D is in the wrong this direction. And R is the wrong this direction. Have to find this D and cross R. Correct. It should be inverted, right? We have to see the find the direction of cross product and deal cross R. So obviously it should be You're correct. It should be. So this is the very first step. If you can find this, you will be able to find direction anytime. So from here, we can see the magnitude of magnetic field will be removed by 2 pi ideal, ideal sin theta by R. Right? This will be the magnitude of the Theta is the angle between. Current time, current element time, radius. Obviously, we have cases like if it is equal to zero degree or one eighty degree. In such cases, magnetic field will be zero. So, magnetic field. Zero, it is zero or one eighty. What is it means? Suppose current is like this, and suppose current is flowing like this, and if any point is on the wire, like suppose a point is here, that is it is zero degree, or suppose a point is here, that is it is one eighty degree. So in both cases, magnetic field. If current is flowing through a wire. And if point is along the line of the wire, here or here, in that case, magnetic field P will always be magnetic field B. The point lies on the wire or along the tension of current, magnetic field is always zero. Understood it? So, are you have you understood this point? Yep. Okay. All right. So, based on that, we have some formula standard form which I am going to repeat. Like application so far, so what I can say. So, first is like suppose I have a wire, current carrying wire. And there is a point P. Suppose we have a point P at a distance R. And suppose the wire is making angle. Suppose this angle is like theta 1. And suppose this angle is like theta 2. And current in the wire, is, this is a finite wire. Basically, this is a finite. So from bias order, you can get that magnetic field at point P. I am not going to derive it. The formula for magnetic field at point P will be mu naught pi by 4 pi r. 
sine theta 1 plus sine. This will be the formula for magnetic field is finite by. Because this is very important formula, you will see application. This is very important. You are not type by 4 pi r. Magnetic field at a point P due to finite current carrying pi having current I situated. The point is situated at perpendicular distance R from the wire. The magnetic field is not I by 4 pi r. Sin theta 1 plus sin theta. Understood it? Here you must remember that. Theta is angled from the line. You know, you must remember that theta is the angle from this line. You may not confuse with the theta is angle with these lines. Right? So this is the very basic formula which we will apply. Have you understood this? You not have a four pi, right? Four pi. Now suppose we have infinite power. Like if you have infinite, suppose we have infinite. What will happen? The wire is infinite. Minus infinity to plus And the point P is situated like this at this tensor. Right. So what will be magnetic? What will be here by what theta one? Can you see? What will be theta 1 and theta 2? What will be theta 1 and theta 2? Infinite wire means long wire. Since wire is long, so you know what is theta 1 angle? What was theta 1? Theta was angle like this, and theta 2 was upper side. Angle. So theta 1, so this is long. This will be going like this. This will meet at infinity. And this line will also meet at infinity. It means theta 1 will become 90 degree. And what will be theta 2? Theta 2 will also become 92. Since this is going to infinity, this line. So this will line also meet at infinity. So here theta 1 will be equal to 90 degree. And theta 2 will also be equal to 90 degree. And magnetic field will be like this. You know, I write 4 pi r sine 90 plus sine 90. Sine 90 degree plus sine 90. You know that sine 90 is 1. So it will be. You know, I write 2 pi. 